Hello everybody, here is Rosalie. Hi, here is Patricia Barane. Together we are Belle Passion. Welcome back to our channel and the second part of the tutorial how to make a cake as a beer cake. This time we will show you how to mold hop cakes with which we will decorate the cake. And I will talk you through it. First, color your sugar paste using edible gel coloring in two different tones of green. I used a lighter green color called Kiwi from Sugar Flare and a darker leaf green from Wilton. You're completely free to use any color you like, even mix two or more together to create the one you prefer. You can make a color lighter by adding yellow or white and darken it by adding more of the same color or, for example, brown. Have both of your colors at the ready. Preferably, use less of the darker green and mix both together. Don't blend the colors perfectly. You should still be able to see the stripes of the two colors. Take this colored sugar paste batch and mold small lengthened balls that resemble a grape in shape and in size. Now, take your fuller stick wire of the size 26 and bend a loophole at one end using a pair of tweezers. Stick the fondant ball onto the prepared wire and using a tool, press the fondant harder into the wire. You can even make the tip of the tool a little wet in order to make the fondant stick better to the wire. Do this without the fondant balls. In the meantime, your first ones will dry. Thanks to the loop hole in the middle of the ball, it won't slide off of the wire even when you will need to move them around. When you are finished with sticking all the balls onto the wires, take a pair of nail scissors and cut small triangles into the fondant. Proceed from the bottom to the top. This is how you create the hops cone. When finished, put each aside to dry. Making the leaves. Make the leaves out of the darker green fondant. Roll it out as thin as only possible. To make the leaves even thinner, using a foam pad can help you with that. Place this roll out fondant onto the screw board and press the wires into these grooves. Bend the rolled out fondant over your wires and roll it out again. If the two halves don't stick to each other, take a wet brush and apply some water onto the fondant. Cut out the desired shape of the leaf. Because I didn't have a hop leaf cutter, I simply used a cutter for the leaves of roses. Now let's prepare an amazing hack for flower making. Honestly, it will change your life. You will need a fabric sachet, or any cloth will do as well. Fill it with starch and tie up the ends. You can use this to apply the starch onto your vein maker for your leaves. It gives you the perfect amount that covers the surface evenly without having too much of it on the mold. Don't leave out this step, otherwise the fondant will stick onto the mold, tear up, and you won't achieve the desired effect. So, apply the starch onto your vein maker, place your leaf into it, and press it together. Take it out, bend it a little into a more natural shape, and let it dry.
coating using powdered coloring. Now you will need a dark green and a bright egg yellow powdered coloring. From this variety of colors, you can pick the forest or moss green, for example. Brush off any starch from the leaves and brush the dark green into all the corners. Color the edges of the leaf with your yellow powdered coloring. When you are finished with toning all of the leaves, spray their front side with the special edible lush. Leave the back side matte. When your leaves have hardened out a bit, take the floristic tape and wrap it around the wire. For it to be sticky, you have to stretch it out a little like a piece of chewing gum. After that, press it onto the wire and tighten it gradually. Tie single cones with these together until you form a whole branch.
What is typical for hops are twisted sprouts, which you can make by wrapping the ends of the wire around the tool. Wrap the whole branch in floristic tape once more, but wrap the ends twice to make them natural and smooth.
Decorate the cake with your branches and you're done! If you're not sure where to buy all these special tools and products, we linked all of them for you under this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of work. And that's why we'd both be very happy if you would like click subscribe. If you already done that, you can still like the video or write a comment beneath. You can also follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Make sure to check out all the links under the video that we have prepared for you. We say goodbye. Hopefully not for long. Rosalie and Patricia.